You read that it fell Ignore my little packaging I come packing crafting Hello and thank you so much for joining me here on So Stitch Hacks I'm Academia and today we're going to be doing a Yumi Twins unboxing This should be a uh, Halloween theme So and I did pre-cut it. I'm sorry. Make every day kawaii. Kawaii by your life. Yumi twins. It's going to be cute. Okay. So on top, we have kawaii Halloween party. This is the theme. And then that's my scan, but ta-da. It's pretty cute. Okay, welcome to our beautiful party. Hey, Yumi Twins cuties. As the spooky season approaches, everyone in Japan is getting into the Halloween spirit. It's the perfect time and place to combine your love of spooky with kawaii. Shops and restaurants roll out the cutest limited edition spooky sweets and treats. We here at Yumi Twins have also been busy decorating for our kawaii Halloween party. Trick-or-treating is not a popular ho holiday activity here, but Halloween parties sure are. Our trusty mascot, Magical Nyan Nyan, is also getting dressed up to join the fun and games. So get cosplay ready and pin up some kawaii Halloween decorations because the party's just getting started. Can't wait to see you there. Stay spooky! The Yumi Twins team. And then there's a cute little picture. And I love them. I follow them on Instagram. Okay. So, you have this book where it talks about... Well, this first part. A Kawaii Halloween. Where it talks about Halloween in Shibuya. Uh, Jimmy Halloween. Or played Halloween. And theme park celebrations. And then the next one talks about the Yumi Twins magical Nyan Nyan Halloween plush. This is at the bottom. And it is in a ear type bag. Can I plushify? It's Halloween cosplay time. Yumi Twins' faithful sidekick, Magical Nyan Nyan, is dressed and ready for some kawaii Halloween fun. We're all under the spell of Magical Nyan Nyan's bewitching Halloween-ready costume. The adorably spooky witches in mind, Magical Nyan Nyan is party-ready wearing a witch's hat, fake, and scarily cute Halloween embroidery patches. Including this cute. Not quite squished out enough. <laughs> Ew! Style point. Okay, so the heart on the center of their forehead, or it's typically a heart on the center of their forehead, but today it is a bat. How cute. I did notice the bat, but I didn't realize it was different than normal. And of course, their little logo. <laughs> I have a Sailor Moon acrylic keychain right here. There's one of 11 available characters. All I want is Super Sailor Chibi Moon. Ooh, and it turns into a, uh, the keychain turns into an acrylic stand if you'd like. Yes! Got the one I wanted. <laughs> She's so cute. I love it. On here it has one of 11 available characters. I would assume that the mystery character 
is either most likely tuxedo mask. Although I guess it could be Neo Queen Serenity, but I don't know. Hello, Yumi, Twin, little Yumi Twins fam. For a chance to win bonus goodies, use the QR code and leave a review. Right up to three and you get a free Kawaii merch. Okay, Kawaii versus Kawaii. It's the difference between Kawaii, cute, adorable, lovely, and pretty, and Kawaii. Scary, frightening, eerie. A summer scare. Don't worry, Japan, Japan is not afraid to scare. If you want to go around telling ghost stories or visit a haunted house, your best time to do that in Japan is during the hot summer season. The reason why? They give the feeling of getting scared. We can say that all of the things give you the chills. And what better time to trick your body into being frozen with fear than during the hottest time of the year? I love that, and I love that it rhymed. Okay, so what's next? Next we got the Yumi Twins exclusive Cinnamon Roll Halloween Macaroon Plush, which this is what I jumped on this box. I'm all about some kawaii Sanrio for the holiday season. When I see uh, a Sanrio plush for the Halloween, that's that's it. That's basically the only reason I get these boxes is for Halloween. If they had like a Halloween exclusive themed box, I'd buy it. Too cute to eat. Cinnamon Rolls all dressed up as our favorite French confectionery. A delicious Halloween macaroon. Sorry, I was out of frame. <laughs> Elaborate and kawaii macaroons have made their way into the streets of Harajuku and Shibuya. Shibuya, sorry. <laughs> In recent years. Convenient and stylish. And the hands and ears stick out just to give a 3D effect like a plushie. Next I have Mofusan Cat Postcard. I love theirs. I honestly would love to get the pumpkin cat. But all of them are cute. Or the one with all of them on it. Because then I'd have all of them. Use it as a centerpiece in a room. Glue it to the front of your favorite notebook. String up a couple of the postcards. And then you could also do a... Aw, you could do a whole scrapbook. That'd be cute. Or a wall collage. Cur curiosity kawaii to the cat. <laughs> Get curious with the scarily cute Mofusun. Cat, ha wa Cat Halloween postcard. This collection is filled with the ever so adorable and slightly surreal Mofusund cats wearing our favorite Halloween costumes. <laughs> oh, it's the little, it's the little vampire. With his little candy. No. Not, not yet. Kawaii Cats. Which is written with a K, which seems a bit unnecessary, but okay. Feline Fun, the best black, black cats in anime. There's Luna. And Kiki. Okay, uh, like Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. I read the first one. Kiki's Delivery Service, Gigi. No black cat appreciation can be complete without mentioning Studio Ghibli's Gigi. Gigi is the beloved witch's companion in Kiki's Delivery Service. Gigi brings forth a sense of wittiness and humor to this adorable movie. Nothing makes you fall in love with a Ghibli movie more than beautiful scenery and charming talking cats. Sailor Moon's Luna. Luna, the magical talking black cat, is one of the most iconic black cats to have walked across our TV screens. Luna, originally from the Moon Kingdom and a trusted advisor to the Queen, now spends her time helping Usagi Tsukino, damn, 
I never get the name right. I don't think I get it, got it right. I don't know. Sailor Moon and the rest of the Sailor Scouts on their journey against evil. I could say Usagi. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I am bad with names, but I know her name. I've named like three stuffies that, so. Uh, Nichi. Nichicho. Nichicho. Nichijo. I'm not sure how to say that. It's the anime. And, um, uh, Sakamoto. Sakamoto is an eccentric and quirky middle-aged black cat that spends his time ordering around Hakase. Hakasaki, the young scientist, gave Sakamoto the ability to talk through a red scarf. And ever since, Sakamoto has fallen prey to Hakasaki's childish trap. Oh, yay! The last item in the box. Kawaii cat-shaped silicone mold. And it is super cute. And it's page six to seven for a recipe for the perfectly fluffy cat-shaped pancakes. Japan super superstitions. Oh, let me show you the cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. A little silicone. Terracotta. Teehee. Oh, my goosh is stuck in there. Keep track of it, everybody. There we go. Okay, it's, um... During the spooky season, there are many campfire stories that make your hair stand up on end. With many of the stories being based around superstitions, with Japan's long culture and heritage, there are some pretty wild and bizarre superstitions, beliefs. In Western culture, breaking a mirror is seen as one of the biggest taboos. It's seven years of bad luck if you do. Here in Japan, it's believed that if you break a comb, it also brings you years of bad luck. Okay, look at this adorable little picture right there. Perfect. I love it. A scientifically unproven superstition in Japan is that when a cat washes its face, it will rain. The theory is that cats can sense moisture in the air, and because they don't like their whiskers being wet, they usually clean their faces more. So keep a watchful eye on your cat to see if you need your umbrella. If you need to do a quick load of laundry, make sure you don't leave your clothes hanging outside to dry overnight. It's believed that it may invite wandering ghosts to try on your clothes, and when you bring your clothes back inside, the ghosts will follow too. Hmm. How to make perfectly fluffy Japanese pancakes. Love at first bite. An easy to make pancake. And then it lists all the ingredients. How to make the batter. And how to cook the pancakes. Hmm. I don't see how putting the silicone mold in a pan will keep... The pan from melting? I'm a little confused on that. And then they said there is a photo contest. Getting ready for your own kawaii Halloween party. Yumi twins can help. Snap a selfie. And then be sure to post by November 10th. And you could win some plushies. Which is cute. And then it's just got some cute pictures. So, that's like the box. I know this is probably kind of boring, but I just kind of went over what I got and the little surprises. I really liked it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I will see you here next time. If you have a Yumi Twin subscription, what did you think? Do you subscribe just for the spooky season like me? Or are you a loyal subscriber? Let me know in the comments down below. Please remember to subscribe to me, even if it's just for strange content like this, as random as it is. And I will catch you here next time, my Wicked Vipers. Bye!